I remember wanting a sibling my whole life, but my two foster brothers ended up leaving, so I didn't know if my little sister was going to stay or not, so we were really cautious. But I got my little sister in the end. This is my first ever stuffed animal that my sister gave me when I stepped off the airplane. This is my sister handing me the teddy bear when she first met me. I still sleep with it, but don't tell anyone because I'm 22. How would I describe life with siblings? Crazy, rambunctious, annoying, loving, you know, all the typical words. I didn't have any dreams of siblinghood. I was doing just fine as an only child. The first time I joined my brother in our new home, I wouldn't leave his side. I moved over right next to him at the table and ate his macaroni and cheese from the same bowl. We shared everything. When I was first adopted, I didn't know I had any biological siblings. So to learn at 17 that I had six siblings was a shock. I discovered I'm the oldest, the youngest, the only, and the middle in my family. I have seven siblings through my biological parents, but then I got adopted and now I'm essentially an only child. It's lonely sometimes, but it gives me a chance to bond with my mom. We both love comedy shows, we both love to laugh. Anything that makes us laugh, we're happy. When people ask me about my siblings coming to my family, they seem to often have this fairy ishness idea about it, like it's some sort of Disney story. But there's always a reason why someone's being adopted, something's happened to their family or to their parents. A lot of times that story is really hard, and it can be really hard when it comes into your story. I don't really hear people talk about that part of adoption. When I first moved in with my brother, I kind of hated him. Eventually I thought he was pretty cool, but having a complete family, a stable family, was kind of hard for me. We have a passive-aggressive relationship. I'm passive. I'm aggressive. People at school say my brother and I don't look anything alike, and I just say, yeah, long story. I was seven when I left the orphanage and came here to meet my mom and my sister, who was nine. I had nothing coming from India, no English. I felt so small. My sister was also adopted from India, but she came when she was five months old, so she had a luxurious life with my mom. She had baths and books read, there's baby photos of her everywhere. Such a loving environment her whole life. It's something that I missed out on, so I was really jealous of my sister. My adoption identity is so different from hers. Some siblings can accept the identity of being adopted, and others push it to the back of their minds. I can't imagine my life without the reality of adoption. Adoption is me. We were a pretty ordered family until Danielle came in. She liked things a little more changeable. It was a big shift for me. It was hard coming in at the age of 12. I was used to chaos. I had five other siblings and it was pretty hectic. I hate conflict and confrontation. It feels stressful to me, whereas Danny might have felt like she needed some of that. Maybe she even made it her personal goal to cause a little bit of mayhem. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Your siblings are like this unfiltered voice. How they perceive adoption quickly becomes how you perceive adoption. So my brother said things like, I wish they'd just bring you back. It kind of made me feel like this sort of like commodity with a receipt attached that could be returned at any moment. The day my sister was supposed to transition into our house, she had a medical emergency and had to go to the hospital. It's happened other times too, and we never know when it will happen. I get anxious a lot. I wasn't prepared to deal with a sibling who had a disability in that way. Due to past trauma, my sibling would have intense meltdowns. I got angry at my parents because I wouldn't always feel safe in my own home. It's hard to explain what that stress is like on everyone in the household. My brother, who is also adopted, just doesn't like to be around me. I feel like I'm an only child every day, even though I'm not. I feel guilty that I've had a good family and support system my entire life, and my sibling hasn't had that. I feel bad that I sometimes respond to him with frustration. My brother's needs take up so much space, so we've all had to put our needs on a back burner.
Are you really related? Adopted siblings aren't real siblings. So you don't have a normal family? How could you forget a language you spoke for seven years? My brothers and I used to speak Spanish, but we don't anymore. I still correct myself in English. English has been really hard for me. I came from a very poor family, and it was definitely a change when I moved into Aiden's house. I recently moved back in with my birth family, and it's hard going back. When I first joined my family, it was hard adjustment because there was a big language barrier. I didn't know what the heck my siblings were saying. I felt different from my siblings because they were white. At first, I didn't feel like I was part of family. Race wasn't really talked about in my family. Um, both of my parents were white, and that made it hard to have difficult conversations about it. And because my sister and I never learned how to have those conversations, it meant for me that we weren't able to connect about certain things. In India, darker-skinned people are the bottom of the caste system. My sister has lighter skin, so she's considered prettier than me over there and over here. Growing up, we were surrounded by white people. I had really wished I lived in a more diverse place. I had to come without my biological brother from Ethiopia, and I felt safe because there was another black person, my brother who was adopted from Burkina Faso. Being of the same race helped me to relate to my brother, even though I didn't understand the language. My parents are white, my sister is Cambodian, and my brothers and I are Puerto Rican. No one really believes we are a family because we are all different races. I shouldn't have to prove that someone is my family. My brother goes to college in a city and my parents have to warn him to be careful, which is kind of weird for me because they never had to warn me to be careful, but I'm not a young black man. There was another girl at the orphanage in India and we were always together. We shared all that history, so I call her my sister cousin. I was lucky to be adopted with my biological sibling. There was someone who wanted me, but not my sister. So if my moms hadn't had taken us both, my sister would have gone to a group home. My caseworker fought for us, but social workers are so overloaded, they can't fight every battle. It's important to keep siblings together. You're already being taken from your parents, so to be taken away from your siblings makes it even worse. My adoptive parents were going to adopt my other brothers, but they were adopted by a different family. We never saw each other for our birthdays. We had to sneak in phone calls. That was so hard for us. Now, I'm really close to one of these brothers, but back then I didn't think our future would be this way. If I had a magic wand, I would be able to see my little brother without having to deal with the pain of seeing my birth mother. I have a little guardian angel. It is special to me because it is a connection to my siblings. The people who gave it to me adopted my younger brother's sister. I'm still in contact with them, but I haven't seen them in over a year. I really liked how my parents included my brother in my adoption process and helped them understood what I had gone through. It definitely eased my transition into the family and his as well. Family is messy. This idea that there are two parents and two kids and if you don't have that, your family is somehow broken. Clinging on to that made things really, really difficult for me. Just embrace the mess. Me and my brother are not always at each other's throats. We love going to the arcade and playing Jurassic Park. She likes shoots and ladders. When I play with her, she gets really excited. I like photography, so sometimes we do photo shoots together. My oldest biological siblings grew up in a different home. Despite their hard experiences, they are my heroes and I love them. Because of them, I'm going to college and not letting bad situations hold me down. When I was younger, my brother and I got into this two-day argument. Finally, my dad intervened and said, Look boys, no matter what happens, you are brothers. When there is no one else, you will have each other. It doesn't matter that you're not blood related. You are the only ones who will ever share that bond. Just because it's good doesn't mean it's not hard. And just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not really good. I love having a sibling, especially a younger one, who looks up to me who would develop some other traits as me to be against our parents when we need to be. <laughs> I cherish my sibling because it means I'm not alone. Having a sibling with you keeps you grounded. Having a sibling is like this friend that you never really asked for, but now you can't really imagine your life without them.